Welcome back to True Host Academy. Today we're diving into something essential for managing your website, creating a cPanel username and password. This video will guide you through everything you need to know to get started with confidence. Let's start with understanding the different types of cPanel accounts. Depending on your hosting needs, cPanel offers various options tailored to different environments. The first is cPanel Solo License. Perfect for individuals or small businesses managing a single website. The second is cPanel and WHM VPS license. Designed for virtual private server, VPS hosting, offering server administration features and support for multiple user accounts and add-on domains. The third is cPanel and WHM dedicated license. Optimized for dedicated server environments, allowing extensive user and reseller management. The fourth is cPanel and WHM cloud license. Ideal for hosting providers managing cloud-based infrastructure with a pay-as-you-go model based on user accounts. Now, why are secure credentials so crucial? Your cPanel username and password are your gateway to managing crucial aspects of your website and server. They enable you to log in to the cPanel interface where you can handle tasks like creating email accounts, managing databases, and configuring website settings. Ensuring these credentials are strong and secure is paramount to protect your hosting account from unauthorized access and potential security breaches. We'll show you how to create robust passwords and implement additional security measures like two-factor authentication for an added layer of protection. But before diving into setting up your cPanel username and password, there are a few things you need to have in place. 1. Access to your hosting account's control panel. Your web hosting provider should give you access to this, but it might look a bit different depending on whether you have shared hosting, VPS, or a dedicated server. 2. Administrative privileges to manage user accounts within cPanel. This basically means you need the right permissions to access the cPanel interface and manage user accounts. Now let's logging into cPanel. Logging into cPanel is straightforward once you know where to start. First things first, head to the cPanel login URL your hosting provider or system admin gave you. It usually looks like this. https colon slash slash yourdomain.com 2083 or https colon slash slash your IP address 2083 on the login page pop your cPanel username into the username box your hosting provider should have given this to you then type your password into the password box remember passwords are case sensitive so type it in just right hit the login button and boom you're in now you'll see the cPanel tools interface where you can manage everything from your website and email accounts to databases and more next up is creating a new cPanel user account once you're logged in look for the account function section now, in the account function section, click on create a new account or add a new user. Here's what you'll need to fill in. 1. Username. Pick a unique and memorable username for the new cPanel account. 2. Password. Set a secure password with a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. Avoid common words or personal info. 3. Domain. Choose the domain or subdomain for the new account. 4. Contact email. Enter a valid email address for the new account holder. 5. Package. If if applicable, select the right hosting package or plan for the new account. Double check all the details to make sure everything is correct, then hit create account or add user to finalize the process. And that's it. You've created a new cPanel username and password. Next we have privileges. In cPanel, privileges determine the level of access and functionality granted to a user account. These privileges control what actions the user can perform, such as managing email accounts, databases, FTP access, and various other website management tasks. To set up user privileges in cPanel, follow these steps. 1. Log into cPanel with an administrator account. 2. Head to the user manager section. 3. Pick the user account you want to tweak. 4. In the privileges section, you'll find different categories like email, manage email accounts, forwarders and autoresponders, databases, create, modify and manage databases, FTP, upload, download and manage files via FTP, SSH access, shell access for advanced users or developers. 5. Check or uncheck the boxes to enable or disable specific privileges for that user. 6. Set resource limits if needed, like restrictions on disk space bandwidth or the number of subdomains parked domains 
7. Hit save to lock in your changes, and there you have it, a guide to creating and managing your cPanel username and password. Thanks for watching Truehost Academy. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tips. Until next time, ciao!